Hi there. My name is Alex Nastas and I'd like to demonstrate how NewAge is capable of providing network connectivity to a large number of containers and manage security using its policy management engine. We will try during this demo to spin up a thousand Kubernetes pods and connect them all to NewAge. We will see how NewAge VSD manages not only to provide real-time network access but is also capable of applying security policy to these containers. So, two objectives uh, for this demo. Uh, the first one is to deploy a thousand Kubernetes pods and interconnect them in uh, real time using NUASH VSP. And uh, the second uh, one is take these containers and apply to them security policy, uh, apply to them um, access lists that will allow or deny access to certain containers to certain resources. Let's start with the description of our demo platform. We have a Kubernetes cluster composed of one master and ten nodes. Uh, we deploy the virtualized services directory and controller on a separate hypervisor. Each Kubernetes node has a virtual routing and switching module, controlled by the VSC. We also deploy the Kubernetes plugins on the minions and Kube monitor on the master to be able to communicate with the VSD. The way we will distribute these pods, we will have 10 subnets in NUASH, subnet 1 to 10, each containing 100 pods, 1000 pods in total. Let's now move to the demo. What you see here is the CLI of the Kubernetes master. We have an automatically generated YAML description file, which we'll be using to create our pods. The container image used is a light version of Nginx. It's also worth noting the metadata used to connect these pods to NUASH. We specified such parameters as zone, subnet and the policy group. We have two different policy groups, odd for containers in the odd subnets like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and even for containers in even subnets like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We will be using this for our policy enforcement demonstration later. In VSD we can see our 10 subnets that have been pre-created. Moving to the policy tab we see our policy group odd and even. They are empty for now and will be automatically populated when the containers are created. We can also see that there are currently no active deployments and no pods. We're going to launch our script now and see how the containers are being provisioned. The pods are being provisioned right now. We will speed up the video uh, and go straight to the end of provisioning. You can see that we reached a thousand pods in less than three minutes. All these pods have been connected to NUASH and can be seen in NUASH VSD. We can also see that our odd and even policy groups have been populated. So what I'd like to show here is uh, three main use cases of uh, policy enforcement. The first one will deny uh, port 80, so HTTP access between subnet 2 and subnet 10. 
the second one uh, will deny CMP between odd subnets and even subnets. Uh, here meaning that um, uh, containers from subnet uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 won't be able to communicate uh, using ICMP with uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And uh, the third use case will show how we can isolate containers inside the subnet, meaning that containers inside the sub same subnet won't be able to communicate uh, at all. Then we'll allow everything else. Let's now move to VSD and actually implement all these rules. We can see that there is already a security policy that has been automatically pre-deployed by Nuage. It allows communications inside the same namespace as well as service traffic between the cube system namespace and other namespaces. What we will do first is take the first rule allowing all intrazone communications and move it further down the chain to be able to add other deny rules before it. Let's give it priority 1000. We can now add our deny access lists. First one is the rule denying port 80 between 7 is 2 and 10. Next, we add another rule denying ICMP between odd and even subnets. And last, we add a rule for isolating containers inside the subnet. Let's now add the rules in the other direction. And finally, push the security policy. The final step of the demo is the connectivity testing. First, we try an HTTP GET from a container in a subnet 2 to a container in subnet 10. We can see that the WGET doesn't work. However, we can see that we are able to ping it. Second use case ping from odd subnets to even subnets. We choose for example a container from subnet 7 and ping something in subnet 8. The ping doesn't succeed. However, we can see that we can successfully ping a container in subnet 9, since they are in the same policy group. We can also see that we are successful in an HTTP GET to subnet 8. The third use case is container isolation. We shouldn't be able to communicate at all with containers in the same subnet. Let's pick a container from subnet 5 and try to communicate with another container in the same subnet. We can see that neither wget nor ping work. However, if we try to communicate with a container in another subnet, we succeed. This shows how Nuage leverages its state-of-the-art policy engine to control container access to the network and protect critical application traffic. We conclude our demo. In case if you are interested in more details about the integration with Kubernetes, you can always see our Kubernetes container networking webinar by visiting the URL displayed.